Welcome everyone to Discover This. Today is another installment in our long lost punk rock venues around San Diego. I know these videos aren't hugely popular, I can see that, but there is a, uh, a core group of you that patiently await uh, the next set of videos about these uh, venues. So I appreciate you waiting and I appreciate you watching. I really like doing them. I really like uh, checking out these old places and seeing who played there and things like that. So let's get started. So there's two places I uh, figured I could start these videos at. Two kind of iconic venues and either one would have been appropriate but kind of flipped a coin and we're going to start at 3927 Utah Street here in North Park and that would be the North Park Lions Club. So many great shows came through here. I mean, how about Dead Kennedys? And the cramps. Adolescence. Bad Brains. Misfits. TSOL. X. Angelic Upstarts. Angelic Upstarts played with Husker Du, actually. Black Flag. There was even a punk rock poetry night. Battalion of Saints and Youth Brigade. So many shows played within these walls. North Park Lions Club, still here. Not doing shows anymore. But at least it's still standing. What a great venue. So next up on our hit parade, used to be a roller rink, Palisade Gardens. It's right here where this, uh, this large building is now. Torn down many years ago, unfortunately. A lot of people roller skated in here. Corner of University in Utah and San Diego. But they also hosted some punk rock shows back in the day. A few here and there. Youth Brigade came through here. DOA. Black Flag. Minutemen. Seven Seconds. Bad Religion. And a great show by Fear. All played here when it was Palisade Gardens Roller Rink. So one thing that the builders did when they put up this building is they put the name Palisade Gardens back up there. Even though this building is not called that, but this is kind of a throwback to back what this was once was back in the day. So that's kind of nice that they did that. Wish more places would do that or put a plaque or something. Remember these old places. But enough of the Hallmark moment. Let's continue on. So how many of you remember a place called King's Road? It's one place I never got to, but 4034 30th Street in San Diego was the old King's Road. Also another number of great shows came through here, played this little place right here. Minor Threat, Social Distortion, Bad Brains and Red Cross, that's a good bill. Christian Death. And a few others used to be right here so here's another venue that I wasn't aware of at the time or didn't pay attention to for some reason but there was a venue here called Abbey Road it's now the original 40 Brewing Company 3117 University but Abbey Road did host a few punk rock shows The Avengers, local boys, the Zeros, other local boys, the Penetrators, X played here, and there was a few others, but 
but this was the location of Abbey Road, if anybody ever went there. So we are at Wabash in University. And those of you the, that attended shows back here in the day know what was right over here. 3855 Wabash, Wabash Hall. Another site of a lot of great shows. If you watched our punk rock bowling video, you know I got to meet Greg Graffin, the lead singer from Bad Religion. And I actually asked him if he missed playing places like Wabash Hall. And he actually remembered Wabash Hall, remembered that that was the first place that Bad Religion played in San Diego. And we have a flyer for that show where they opened for Social Distortion. And we got a picture of Greg Graffin on stage at Wabash Hall from that show. But some of the other shows that played here, Bad Brains with the Addicts, Circle Jerks and Descendants, Cockney Rejects, Black Flag, the Vandals, and so many more. A lot of great shows came through here. Now it's a, I'm not sure if it's just a workspace or it's a living space and a workspace, but not hosting any more shows. So next up is another infamous location, and that would be Fairmount Hall, which was at 3760 Fairmount Avenue, San Diego. And it would have been right in this general area, right in here, obviously torn down a long time ago. But infamous in the fact that I believe one of the shows here, TSOL, some people from the crowd actually came in up onto the stage and started fighting the band, the members of TSOL, throwing punches and things like that. So that's the crowd these guys got when they came to San Diego. But some of the shows here, Dead Kennedys, The Addicts, Circle Jerks, the Flesh Eaters, Suicidal Tendencies, X, I mentioned TSOL, Fear, Subhumans, Social Distortion, Black Flag, Cramps, DOA, many, many more. The ironic thing is, you know, the San Diego Police Department spent a lot of time trying to shut down these punk rock shows, making arrests, bringing in the fire marshal, things like that. But when they tore down Fairmount Hall, they put up a San Diego Police Department station. So another place they had a bunch of shows was the Jackie Robinson YMCA here in San Diego. You'll see if you uh, research it a little bit, uh, you may find some places that say it's National City, but it's really San Diego. Now in the 80s, there was a lot of shows, uh, punk shows uh, played here. This is one of the places they rented, you know, and they would put a show on and uh, so a number of bands came through here. Now this, this is a different building in that uh, the original building was bulldozed down and they put up a more modern, up-to-date building. But this uh, same, same address, 151, 45th or South 45th, depending. But same place, a lot of great shows over the course of time here, mostly in the 80s. So that building over there is where the State Theater used to be. Yeah, State Theater held a few punk shows over the years. Uh, unfortunately, it was torn down quite a long time ago. And this building was put up in its place, but this is where the State Theater used to be. It's 4700 block of El Cajon Boulevard. So this is the other place I thought I could start this video at, but uh, I 
chose the uh, North Park Lions Club, but this was the old Adams Avenue Theater. Another legendary spot for punk rock shows back in the day. So many bands came through here. Let's go through some of them. And by the way, none of these flyers for any of these venues are in chronological order. I'm just putting them up so they're all out of, you know, different years. You'll see the same band names because they played here multiple times, that kind of thing. So let's check it out. So 3325 Adams Avenue. How about GBH? How about Discharge? The cramps. Exploited with Channel 3. The Damned. Damned with TSOL, actually. Gang of Four and REM. UK Subs. Social Distortion. Zeros. Circle Jerks. Dead Kennedys. Maybe some of you are at one of these, the uh, more infamous shows here. Lords of the New Church on February 27th, 1983. Lords of the New Church played here. Great band, uh, kind of a super group if you want to use that term. But Stiv Baders was on stage, Stiv Baders from the Dead Boys, and somebody in the audience shot him in the stomach with a zip gun. So if you don't know what a zip gun is, it's a uh, kind of a handmade one-shot, uh, almost prison-style firearm kind of thing. So he got shot in the stomach, swore he'd never come back to San Diego again. He was actually interviewed a few days later up in San Francisco when they played up there about it. And, uh, said maybe they were trying to kill him, but they didn't kill him. He was still going to rock on. But Iggy Pop played here. Slayer. So many bands. TSOL came back on their own. But m many of these bands played here multiple times. Uh, the old Adams Avenue Theater. So I'm going to throw in a bonus here. This, this old theater, the North Park Theater, it's now called the Observatory. Well, they still host punk rock shows here from time to time. So some of the same bands that played at these North Park venues we showed you, the North Park Lions Club and Wabash Hall and various places, they're playing here now. So Bad Religion, Social Distortion, X, Agent Orange and UK Subs, GBH, The Damned, The Addicts, Fear, just a number of them, and they're still coming. So they still got punk rock in North Park, along with all the yuppies and the hipster doofuses. So that's going to do it everyone for this installment of our old venues, the old punk rock venues on this one. More to come. We have, uh, we'll start going to some of the older uh, venues from way back in the 60s and some of the other ones that are no longer around that people used to go to and see a lot of good shows. Different music, not, not necessarily all punk rock. So stick around for those. We got lots of other stuff coming too. Those of you who like the true crime stuff and just the old exploring things and stuff like that. But I was wearing my appropriate shirt today as I'm walking around. So anyway, I thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Stay tuned for a lot more. And we will see you next time on Discover This.